Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with beautiful Maddie. She's going to be my model. We are going to be shooting in this beautiful villa. I'm going to link everybody down below. I'm going to be sharing my tips, my swimmer tips with you as usual. Um, something about shooting in direct sunlight, shooting backlit and all this kind of stuff. Before we get into this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button to not miss any of my future uploads. And let's get right into the video. First, I'd like to thank Storyblocks for sponsoring my video. Storyblocks is a members-only site that offers one-stop shop to high-quality video footage as well as audio and photos. They offer high-quality B-roll footage, After Effects templates, and motion backgrounds that are all royalty-free, so they can be used in a variety of your own projects as well as your YouTube videos. As most of you know, I film the majority of my behind the scenes myself. I don't really mind doing it, but sometimes it can be a tiny bit stressful when you have to manage your photo and video camera at the same time. So having a website like Storyblocks is super helpful to me as a creator because I know I always have a B-roll footage to fall back on to make my videos more visually enhanced and just more beautiful. And it just takes the stress away out of the process of creating my own videos. Storyblocks offers professional quality 4K footage without breaking your budget as well. They offer different monthly and yearly pricing options depending on your needs. Once you join, anything in the video members library is yours to download as much as you want. They also continuously add new stock footage, so there's always something for you to download. Make sure to check out Storyblocks using my link storyblocks.com slash Anita and happy browsing. And now let's get back into the video. With masks on, leave them okay so this is our first location we are it's very bright as you can see i can barely see um we are going to be shooting just here kind of you know against the background this light here is really beautiful as well we're getting some really nice reflections at the moment my settings are 5.6 um f 5.6 i mean 1250 of a second iso 100 and we'll just go from there and see how it goes okay beautiful So usually, as you guys know, number one thing is body oil. <laughs> the body oil is the most important thing ever. It just gives the body such a nice glow and it's just really important to just get photos right. At the moment, it's still pretty early. It's only like 7.30 in the morning, but as you see, the sun is pretty intense already because that's Bali for you. So here I'm just shooting in the direct sunlight. Um, the sun is coming from this way. It's just directly hitting us in the faces. Literally, we can't see anything. <laughs> Um, and I'm shooting on anywhere between, um, at the moment, 35, 40. You guys know I love my 40. Beautiful. When shooting swimwear and if I have access to a nice villa, I always make sure to try and incorporate water into it. I think in general, when shooting bikinis, I think it's very important to make it look as natural and organic as possible. I don't want the model to be super dry with, you know, massive hair and makeup and heels. I just don't think it looks very real and I just don't like the vibe. Some people love it. I'm just not a big fan. So I always like to get down and dirty. I always get my model oiled up, as you guys know very well. I always make sure that she has wet hair, very natural, minimal makeup, so it looks like no makeup. And in general, I just find this vibe so much nicer than just taking regular dry photos. And I think it just adds to the mood of the image so much more. Uh, yeah, so as you guys see here, we're getting some really lovely like water reflections, which is really nice because it kind of reflects really nicely. I really want to get the reflections on the wall, but I would kind of have to be in the pool, which doesn't really work for me very well right now. Um, but we'll see how it goes. And even if you like bring your head up towards me, maybe even if you're like slightly on the side. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And just like, yeah, oh yeah, like, yeah, that looks really nice. I love that because you have like the little water drops and stuff. So usually when I'm shooting in full sun like this one, um, I usually start very early in the morning. Like as you guys see, that's beautiful. Um, we're shooting so early and it's still already so hot. It's not even 8 a.m. and it's just boiling. <laughs> Yeah, that's lovely. Actually, yeah, I actually really like that if you're not looking into the camera, just kind of very nice and natural. Yeah, so freaking bright. Nice. 
When I'm shooting swimmer, it's always very helpful when I have a lot of texture on the skin. So like water droplets like this and stuff are really beautiful because they kind of really add to the image. Um, they add a lot of texture into the body and it just makes it look so beautiful and glowy. For this particular set, I ended up using my light medium preset pack, like with most of my recent shoots that I've done. And this particular set suits pretty much most of the filters, which is pretty unusual. It doesn't really happen that often, but for this particular one, that's the case. I'm going to go with number five because I think I like the look the most. I'm going to go with the five plus. I'm going to adjust it a tiny bit. I want a tiny bit more contrast. So I'm going to add a tiny bit more dehaze because I think it just makes the skin so much richer and more golden. And that's basically it. That's all I do at this point. Um, this is a before and after. You can check out my website, anitaslovska.eu, if you want to purchase it. The link in the little discount code is going to be in the description below. And let's get right back into the video. Okay, we finally changed into the second look. We're gonna go under this nice shower. She's gonna go under the shower. I'm not gonna go under the shower. <laughs> So we have this light coming through. We'll see what the light is like. It looks pretty interesting though, so we'll give it a go. It's nice because it's kind of like the water is kind of like, ba it's backlit. Yeah. Really cute. Yeah. So we're getting some nice backlit shots. It's kind of nice because the light hits the, the shower just the right way. So my current settings are 320th of a second, 3.5 ISO 100, and that's because we're in the shot, um, shade and we're shooting backlit. Yeah, that's really lovely. Beautiful. nice anyway okay so we're getting some really nice like light here beautiful if there is no pool available at my villa or a location that i'm shooting at i will always try to even incorporate something like an outdoor shower now i know that everybody has access to outdoor showers most of you have access to the beach and so on but that's the thing you can always cover your model in a bit of uh, oil and sand and water and that will make her look so much more natural and part of the environment, which I think is what needs to be done for a natural swimmer photo shoot. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah, the light is really nice here because it's like reflecting off the wall, so the wall is kind of like working as a diffuser basically. And as a reflector, maybe? Maybe that's a better word? Yeah. Beautiful. So we're just trying to elongate her as much as possible. Yes, that's lovely. Yeah, that's cool. Beautiful. Cool. For a photo. One thing that I find super important when planning my swimmer shoot is to always be very honest with your model about what you expect from the shoot. If you are planning any nudity or any photos that are topless, you need to discuss it with her beforehand. I would never put my model on a spot on the day where I would be like, hey, you know, do you want to take your top off? Because I feel like it's just very unfair. Um, people might feel pressured into doing something that they might not want to do. And I would never want to put anybody in that kind of situation. So if I ever want to shoot something that is a bit more risque or a bit more naked, I will always discuss it with my models beforehand. I will always chat to them about it. I will send them references of what I'm thinking so they can have a clear idea of what I want in my head. And then it's up to them to agree to it or not. I would never pressure anyone or, as I said, put them on the spot spot because it's very unfair and it's very unprofessional so that's something that you should definitely consider when doing your shoot to be very open and honest tell them what to expect ask them if they are okay with it listen to them take their opinion on it and go with there can we spritz some like uh, water drops on you that'd be great oh this this the sun is playing with us that's so beautiful love that Beautiful. Cool. Can you have this leg kind of more in front? Yeah. Perfect. And maybe this one out a tiny bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, perfect. Exactly. That's gorgeous. And 
can you have this one just open ever so slightly when you're doing that yes perfect because it's just yes uh-huh you can yeah yeah exactly even like brushing yes exactly yeah perfect Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being Thank my you. model. <laughs> uh, make sure to check Maddy out. I'm going to link her down below. I'm going to link the villa down below and everybody. And yeah, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.